play, you son of a whore. There we I, go. I am a woman, Nick. That's how I got this job. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here, a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And oh, Catherine, she went above and beyond for us this week, Tara. Worse than last week, because last week was pretty damn bad. Um, Last week, we were driven to a new low. <laughs> Um, we, we've got some special stuff. Let's, let's start with this guy. Okay. Let's ease into the nonsense. Um, this one comes from Manchester Township, Pennsylvania. Police naked burglar founded bedroom pretending to be asleep. Already, already with the naked. Police say they found a 20 year old Penn State student naked hiding under the covers Pretending to be asleep. Uh, police said they uh, received a 911 call when a resident uh, reported that a person was banging on the front door of her home. Police responded to the area and checked the woman's home. That's when another resident approached officers to report trouble. While officers were checking the dwelling, the immediate area for intruders, a suspect approached the off- a subject approached the officers and advised that there was an intruder in the house next door. This person had been alluded to the intruder by a female family member, escaped the home, and ran to the nearby family member's house for assistance and told the male subject there was an intruder inside of the family house. That's some convoluted talk in there. Yeah, uh, I'm not even sure. Police checked the other home and found an open garage. Inside, there was another door leading to a foyer. Foyer. I can say foyer. And foyer. then another open door. Police found the occupant in the home and got them out before they searched the rest. Uh, searching officers located a white male naked in a bedroom, hiding under the covers and pretending to be asleep. Police arrested the man, uh, 20-year-old David Dar, York uh, resident who was a student at Penn State. Yar was taken into custody and booked. Okay. If you have broken into someone else's house... And are not Goldilocks. Yeah, there are a couple rules. Um, number one, uh, keep your clothes on. That that's going to help, um, because you are going to be arrested. So keep keep your clothes on. And another, while it may work for the monster under the bed, <laughs> pretending to be asleep under the covers <laughs> does not ward off the police. They will, in fact, still arrest you even if you're sleeping. They, won't they will. You. They will. It's, it's it, not like they're going to be like, oh, look at the little guy. I just, <laughs> I just can't even disturb him. I'm sorry, ma'am. You're just going to have to adopt this intruder because he's precious. <laughs> we just can't. And look at him. I put him up on the big screen. He's a darling, isn't he? Isn't oh he God. just the cutest little thing? Well, my question, was he naked before he broke in, or did he break in and then get naked? I mean, I, either I way, I'm I, not sure it matters. Crazy is crazy. <laughs> Go away, I'm sleeping! Can't get me! That's the rules! Home base! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Maybe he thought he and the cops were playing tag. <laughs> and he was like, base! Oh, but we, hey, it, it, we got a ton of naked tonight, but when don't we have a ton of naked? Yeah, exactly. We should start calling it, what the fuck is wrong with your naked ass or something. From New Zealand. I think it's about as funny as I hoped. This is perplexing. Naked man threw tennis balls <laughs> at cars. <laughs> of course he did. What else do you do when you're... <laughs> Police have arrested a man who was winding around naked in a residential <laughs> Auckland suburb and throwing tennis balls at passing cars in the nippy weather. The man, who was in his 40s or 50s, was seen around the Wells Road Ho- Howick area uh, by startled drivers and locals. The man, I love this is a great line here. Yeah. The man wasn't too happy about police turning up. And was violent toward officers who eventually restrained him, brought him to the station. He was charged with indecent exposure and assault exposure. I can say words. And assaulting police and will appear in court next week. Uh, Mr. Uh, Tarusa said the man was well known by local police as someone who tended to, quote, play up. He <laughs> remains in police custody. I asked it last week, and I'll ask it again this week. I just, I want to, gra- I want to get these people while they're incarcerated, and just sit them down and just say, "How did it begin? 
Where where was <laughs> the point that the snowball of naked started rolling down the hill? Mad crazy. It's, where was the starting point where you you veered toward naked throwing tennis balls at cars? I just want to know where it begins. I want to understand. Oh, the cha- I want the root. The channel had uh, someone uh, CJ forty seven. So is he balls deep in trouble? Oh. Oh. <laughs> But this is this is man crazy. You're not going to make yes, sense of this. Just point out, it's almost always naked men, not so much naked women. Thank you, Balthus. Well. Oh no! Really? Did I speak too soon? Then again, women put knives up their vagina to hide them. So I don't know how comfortable I am defending my gender. Kansas City woman charged with leaving baby in car as she headed into bar, topless. There are so many things wrong with that headline. Johnson County prosecutors on Tuesday charged a gardener woman with endangering a child for allegedly leaving a baby girl in her vehicle while trying to enter a bar topless. Chris- Thank you, lady. The incident happened on Monday evening when the temperature was near 90 degrees. Kristen Maceus, also known as Kristen Lowry, 28, pleaded not guilty to the misdemeanor charge of endangerment related to her nine-month-old daughter. She also has an unrelated unrelated pending charge for heroin possession. A man who answered the phone number she provided the courts today said they do not dis- want to discuss the case, i.e., go fuck yourself. Um... The manager of Austin's Bar and Grill said Tuesday the baby was found in the woman's vehicle after police at the bar turned her away when she tried to enter topless. With hot weather coming on, uh, this attorney said his office will prosecute parents who leave children in locked cars. Okay. You know, if she wanted that kind of attention, all she had to do was go to a con. <laughs> She's a pretty girl. <laughs> okay. Um, lady... The fuck? The story is funny until you get to the baby in the car. And then it turns into, I really want to punch this lady in the face. Okay, the baby in the car, awful, awful. But why did she feel the need to compound this by going in Tata's Akimbo? Well, for driller points it out. I- I'm going to get me free drinks. That that's what that's where the thinking was. Um, they normally or don't. Or she'd already had a few drinks. <sighs> they normally don't let you into the bar that way. Oh no, it's usually you know no shirt, no shoes, no diggity. But, but uh, on top of that, what the fuck? Mommy's got to go tie one on, sweetie. You wait here. <laughs> Mommy Colette needs her. Sp- does not approve of this lady. Mommy needs her special juice. Spider does point. Oh. Out, Spider points out they never say no pants, no service. No, that's true. No diggity. It's it's an old joke. Remember that song, No Diggity by Blackstreet. I do not. You don't. You don't know that song. I do not know that song. Wow, you should look it up and you should play it tonight. <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't. You should. You should. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. No. Well, there was an old joke. I worked at a mall. I still work in a mall, but I worked in a different mall at the time that that song came out, and it was no shirt, no shoes, no service. And for some somehow, my friends and I that worked in the mall, it turned into no shirt, no shoes, no diggity. And I've been saying it ever since, which is probably a really sad thing to reveal about myself on the air. But whatever. I'm a child of the 90s. I'm going to own it. I feel no shame. <sighs> Just... God damn this lady. Yeah, the channel remembers a song. Oh, let's see. What else? Oh, we got more. We we've got we have we have much more. Um oh, there's more. Let's see. This is one of the this is from this is Winchester. Uh baffling headline. Baffling. Suspect caused crash, stab self, motorist. Sheriff's department, oh. sheriff deputies, and residents had to wrestle a hefty man down after he stabbed himself. Can I have to point that out in the headline. <laughs> hefty. Is that pertinent to the headline? Hefty, hefty, hefty. The 
38 year old 38 year old menifee man who allegedly drove head on into a car then stabbed himself and the other motorist was arrested sunday and put into a mental health hole before being booked on suspicion of assault suspicion Gary Appingen, Appingen Jr. allegedly stabbed himself with a cordless drill and was bleeding from the neck when deputies arrived. He also oh ale- he allegedly also stabbed another motorist and tried to stab the passenger, then ran to a nearby garage where the homeowner and some friends held him until deputies arrived. Investigators determined that Apocrine had been in the process of detoxifying himself of pain medication and had not slept for several days, then began hallucinating. He reportedly drove his van into a Nissan, injuring both passenger and driver. Motorists staying by ambulance to a medical university, a medical center. Um, Meretta for treatment of stat rooms and crash injuries. Okay, kids. Rehab is not a home game. It's no, no, and 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 you should sleep. I mean, I know I was just like, oh, I slept nine hours all weekend, but on my way home, I did stab people with a drill. Yeah, it's stab myself with a drill. It doesn't work like it does on House. Mm-mm. Okay, you don't just hallucinate the hot House chick that was banging like Wilson. On house. Yeah. To be fair, it's not you. Most- most Vicodin addicts are not charming, grizzled geniuses, you know? But oh. you, you don't suddenly start hallucinating the hot chick who was banging Wilson and, oh. and, and, you know, and then hallucinate yourself banging Cuddy. That's not how detox works. It, it really isn't. It's, it's like it's this. You're more likely to stab yourself in the throat with a drill and then stab someone else and... <sighs> a drill? That's not even sharp, though, dude. Like, drill heads are not particularly sharp because it counts on the motion to get... So, so that had to work. That had to take work. Like, it, it's not like a fucking steak knife where you can just be like, but, like, that had to... Oh, my God. You, you do have to appreciate his commitment to sparkle motion there. You do. Yeah, I, I, but... Oh... Why spoon, cousin? Still, you twit. It'll hurt more. Let's get into the hardcore crazy. (laughs) Because, oh, we got it. Woman who likes to throw fire arrested. She was a Tremere. Des Moines, Iowa. A 26-year-old woman is accused of starting a fire in in the Des Moines apartment from which she was being evicted. Uh, according to the Des Moines Register, Cassie Majerus was arrested Wednesday on suspicion of arson. Majerus had been served earlier in the week with eviction papers. Police say the apartment's spoke alarms were found in a closet by the bathroom. According to the police report, Majerus told officers that she, quote, likes to throw fire at things when she gets scared. Um, honey? No. No. There, there are... Yes, good call, Channel. You should totally play, uh... Prodigy's fire starter. <laughs> um, hmm. If you notice that you have a propensity for hurling flame when fearful, perhaps that's something you may wish to work on. I, I mean, I'll admit, I'm, I'm a thrower. Like, when I get angry, you know, some... Dudes punch things. I never understood that because you're only going to injure yourself and put a hole in the wall and kind of look like a douche in the process. You're going to break shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a thrower. I get angry and I start throwing shit because then I'm punching the inanimate or I'm punishing the inanimate object, not injuring myself. And I feel pretty damn good when it cracks into a thousand pieces. I've never thrown anything that was on fire. (laughs) Maybe I've just never been angry enough, but I've been pretty angry because I have a bad temper. Can't say I've ever done that. But but she says she does it when fearful. And she thinks she and she's aware that she does that. That's what baffles me. She I is, do not throw the hippos you bite your tongue at them. <laughs> you would throw your firstborn before you threw a hippo. I would. I just that's you'd think that if you were aware of this behavior in yourself that maybe potentially perhaps you'd Restrain yourself because. Well, I, t- I mean, 
let's be let's be fair. If you're the kind of person that your reaction to fear is to throw fire, you're probably not cognizant enough to know that you should restrain yourself because you're already crazy. Like it goes back to last week with the, do you know, do you just sit around spreading green jello all over yourself, jerking off to guns and ammo and thinking, God, I'm really out of my mind. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You're pretty unaware at that point. Um, let's see what else we got. I'm saving that one. Uh oh, what? We'll get back to that one. Oh boy, more from this. More from what? That's so, there, that could mean so many things. We need to make this shit illegal quickly. Cops, woman high on bath salts. Oh, no. trashes hotel room. Bath salts again, huh? Forty-two-year-old Indiana woman uh, who authorities believe. I would feel like you should make one of your soaking in it jokes, but <laughs> I can't. I can't get there myself. Because, you know, bath salts. All right. 42 year old Indiana woman who authorities believe was high on bath salts trashed the motel room Wednesday. Uh, police said Tammy Winter of DeMont was sitting on a was sitting on a bed. It said it's, it's written as sitting on bed. Someone missed a word there. Uh, go, go journalism. Tammy uh, DeMott was sitting on a bed when they arrived at the hotel, uh, rambling about evil spirits and needing to write on the walls of the room to protect her from the spirits. Oh. A family member who was present told police that Winter was an abuser of bath salts. When snorted, bath salts cause hallucinations. <laughs> Winter was arrested and charged with criminal mischief and resisting officers after she became combative and needed to be restrained at the Jasper County Jail. In her defense... She could just be related to the Winchesters. This is... Okay, now we need to make two things illegal. Bath salts and supernatural. Hey! Because obviously that show is having a bad influence on people. Don't you mess with my Dean Winchester. You will pry my Dean Winchester from my cold, dead hands. No. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. It's a good show. It's pretty boys fighting Man. Friends. You would think people would stop doing this shit when they realized you're going to go out of your goddamn mind. And it's well, you would think people would stop doing a lot of things when it had negative effects, but yet, no, not so much. <sighs> Find better TV shows. Screw you guys. I am not a gun. I actually really dislike guns. I actually have kind of a weird phobia of guns um i just really like dean winchester <laughs> jensen eccles is cute but man that, no 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 i'm sorry if you are if you are regularly doing a drug that makes you believe evil spirits are trying to attack your ass yeah. I think well, the first the last one he was being chased by the mailman or something. Something like the postal service was out to get him. So he was running around naked beating the shit out of mailboxes? I don't remember. Or yeah, I this stuff does bad things to you. Like just put it in the tub and let it smell pretty. <laughs> and do heroin like everybody else. Oh, this 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 had to happen. Oh dear. Chased by electricity, that's right. Thank you. Yes, he was being chased by electricity. <sighs> This, this is, oh, okay. I'm just going to let this one sit here for a second. <gasps> yeah, that, that was pretty, yeah. You put those in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Contact high. You're doing it wrong. Oh, you put those in your mouth. Police say pot pipe plucked from Fort Pierce residence rear end. Nice alliteration. <laughs> um, oh. I love the biohazard sticker. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, and look at this. He's. I gotta put him up on the big screen. He's a charmer. Uh, maybe John David Hall ran out of room in his pockets. Perhaps storage space at his home was at an extreme premium. Whatever the reason, the 33-year-old man... 33! Apparently had apparently had a marijuana pipe in his rear end. And what could be called the case of the pot pipe in the posterior. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
I like this I reporter. This writer, so yes. This writer. Oh, uh, Will Greenlee. Kudos to you, Will Greenlee. Um, Good man. Began on May 4th as an officer. <laughs> uh, uh, reported spotting Hall making an illegal U-turn. The officer stopped Hall and learned he had a violation of probation warrant and was arrested and asked whether he had any drugs, weapons, needles, or any other illegal items. Before Hall entered the, dr- the jail, uh, deputies made a similar inquiry. Hall said no. Once inside, Hall said he had a pipe. The deputy asked him what kind of pipe he said. The defendant stated it was a marijuana pipe and it was in his rear end. Residue in the pipe tested positive for cannabis. Among other things. Oh, God. I just, I feel like, I feel like <laughs> it's sad to me that I'm kind of nostalgic for the days of no one wants to see your dick. <laughs> because now, every week, we have to admonish people against shoving things up their orifices. And you know exactly what happened here. He was getting pulled over. He had pipe in hand. No, there's no time for that shit. That, no, no. Unless the man... Unless what, was he goat- cruising around with it up there? Unless this is Goatsy Man, and he's been caught, there is no time to shove something that size. If you have to remove your pants, you don't have lube, so it's going to hurt like fuck all. Shove that thing up your ass, get your pants back on. There is no way you get that accomplished before the cop gets to your car. There is just no way. <laughs> The other theory is he just happened to have it up his butt. We had a story three weeks ago of a guy riding around on a bicycle with, like, a hobo bag up his ass. Yes, but he was... He was... Okay. Exactly. He just... It is entirely possible he was just driving around with that thing up his ass. I think I've broken your spirit, Tara. And it also goes back to our talk last week about glass... I really, really, really don't like people anymore. Yay! I just, I just don't. Uh, oh, we're not done yet. <laughs> we are so not done yet. Oh, goody. I love that you're so happy about making me despise humanity. I love that that brings you such joy. Join me. Together oh we shall God. rule the... Oh my God. Man dressed as Batman, <laughs> oh charged with trespassing. <laughs> it's all right. I love people again. 31-year-old <laughs> man dressed as the comic book Cape Crusader was arrested today in uh, Petoskey after he had been seen hanging from the top wall of a downtown business. <gasps> Officers went up to the roof about 12.40 a.m. and pulled the 31-year-old man back into the building. <laughs> Public safety. You know what's beautiful is the guy in the picture totally looks like the guy impersonating Batman in um, The Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah, he Jim, does. He feels like, I'm not wearing hockey pants. Wait, wait he for totally it. He looks like that guy. Officers confiscated a baton like weapon, a can of chemical irritant spray, and lead lined gloves. Oh my God. The Harbor Springs man is awaiting arraignment on charges of trespassing and possessing <laughs> a dangerous weapon. Um. Okay. <laughs> Look, my word. I've got to put him on the big screen. because He's my... not the hero we deserve, but he's the hero we need. <laughs> if you look... I got that with a straight face. I'm really proud of myself right now. If you look real closely, you can see the wisps of mullet coming out of the back of his costume. That's sexy. <laughs> sexy. The, the spandex with the beer gut, the big old... The big old Grandma briefs and the mullet. I know. Hot, Gen- ladies and gentlemen. Those 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 uh, out underwear on the outside of your pants never looks as good in the real world as it does in the comics. No, that's never. Not Just walk around like that all the time. That's good. The hell was he doing? Little known fact: If you walk around with your with your granny panties outside of your pants, women will stuff money in it. The sweat stains are kind of hot too. Oh yeah, yeah the hell was he doing he was protecting the city obviously i'm sorry it looks like he sewed that costume himself it does because that bat symbol's kind of jacked up it is color correcting hippo it's all wrinkly and such no that that bat symbol's kind of jacked up it's kind of just it almost looks like a rorschach test made out of 
spilled food from lunch. If okay, okay, if 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 they have to pull you in to a building you're hanging out of. Yes, I've tried it. I totally walk around with my underwear outside my pants all the damn time. You'll see it in the NERE video. <laughs> they gotta pull your ass back in like this. Um, I think it's a safe bet that you are, in fact, not Batman. Yes. It's kind of like, how do you know you're not God? So we do every now and then. Like, if the teaser works on you, you're probably not God. Probably not God. Uh, if the cops are able to take you in you're not batman you're probably not batman you're not batman you know because batman is kind of way too badass for the cops to even handle okay he doesn't even have a utility belt i mean come on i've got two for the end here tara i'm gonna let you decide do we go with the awful one first or do we save that one for the very very end awful as in funny awful or awful as in will make me really angry awful Maybe a little both? I don't want to end on a downer. Okay, alright, let's get this one out of the way. Because this is... I've been saving this one. This is probably one of the most befuddling headlines you will ever bear witness to. Blind man confused over mystery enema. Oh no. Veteran police officers have been left dumbfounded after a partially sighted man claimed a woman entered his apartment, gave him an enema, and promptly laughed. This is a thing that happens to people? <laughs> the 53-year-old year, 53 year old California man answered the door to a woman who claimed she was there to give him an enema. The man had under, recently undergone intestinal surgery. He assumed the visit was part of his rehabilitation and allowed the woman into his own performed procedure. The woman took him to his bedroom, had him drop his trousers, and lie face down in his bed before performing the enema in less than two minutes. A day later, the man began wondering about his experience and con contacted the Sonoma Police Department to report the incident. A scanning officer contacted the man's doctor and told that, that an enema had not been prescribed, ordered, or approved. Due to the condition of the man's eyesight, he was unable to offer police a description of the mystery woman, and she left no clues of her identity at the scene. Sonoma police have turned the case over to domestic and sexual assault unit of uh, Sonoma County Sheriff's Office, who have yet to make sense of the, who have yet to make sense of the incident. I have some questions. <laughs> oh, we all do. How? <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm sorry. I How should is it laugh. Hurt you until a day later, that maybe, maybe that animal wasn't nest like. If you're not sure, call the doctor before there's something up your ass. <laughs> well, that uh, honey, that's kind call of the doctor before you have been anally violated by a mystery woman. I mean, honey, maybe, I know some guys pay extra for that. I know. <laughs> That's like, you know. <laughs> but if you didn't pay this woman to anally violate you. Please consult your doctor before you put something you up your butt. If, if someone is paying her to do so. And if that's someone who has your best interest at heart. Uh, does my insurance cover something up my butt? I can't believe I just had to say that. And who is this woman? Like, <laughs> this is either the world's. This is either a really, really awful medical mishap, <laughs> or this is like the world's most bizarre sex criminal. I know. Like this woman just shows up at people's houses and sucks all the shit out of them for kicks. Is that fun? Is that a turn on to anybody? Please, nobody answer that. <laughs> Someone on the channel said, it's the Enema Fairy. <laughs> okay. So what, if you leave a roll of toilet paper under your pillow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we shouldn't we're going to hell for laughing at this 
<laughs> you know what? Oh. You, you've been on hell's short list for quite a while. Quite now. a while, yes. Yes, we have. We have indeed. And I was actually raised oh. Catholic, so I'm well aware. So, you know. Oh, God. Just, just. Oh, God. I, I, I like the, the picture. There's a picture of an enema bag. Mm. Mortal enema. <laughs> nice pun. A man has complained of an unsolicited <laughs> enema. I bet those are words that person never thought they'd have to type. Unsolicited enema. <laughs> oh, God. But we're not done yet. We've, wait, we've... wait, there's more. Okay. I don't want any more. We probably have this this final one is probably the most baffling fetish you will ever hear about in your entire life. I know this this kind of baffled me here. Let's just be done now. <laughs> no, actually, it's it's let's, not that let's horrible. Just be done. <laughs> it's not that horrible, but it's just baffling. You. Okay, read this. I don't want to. <laughs> Duluth Ball Slasher arrested again. The Duluth man, known for having a sexual fetish of slashing exercise balls with a knife, allegedly attempted to. Ball slasher thing was going to go a different way. So did I, but um. The du oh, look at the name. <laughs> Bjorkness. I, I'm thinking maybe the B is silent and his name is Jerkness. <laughs> Christopher Neal Jerkness, 33, was arrested, uh, according to, uh, let's see, uh, the schools for children in treatment. Jerkness reportedly gained entry through a window uh, Sunday into a room used for physical and occupational therapy. As he entered, an alarm was triggered, and staff located him in the, in the room shortly thereafter. Jerkness was uh, compliant and waited until staff uh, waited with staff members till police arrived. Inflatable exercise balls were in the room, but none were damaged. Uh, there was no other damage except to the lock and window. In 2009, Jerkness was convicted of third degree burglary after he admitted to breaking into the uh, S SMDC Duluth Clinic West and slashing balls there. <laughs> he was uh, convicted of first degree criminal damage. Um, he also admitted at the time to slicing into the exercise balls. Uh, <laughs> How do you discover that you have this fetish? I know! How I mean, do most fetishes, I can kind of see the jumping off point. You know, like you, you know, you know what, I'm not going to start state any examples. I'm just not. But... <laughs> How how do you how do you discover that you get really turned on by slashing exercise balls? I don't know. Why not just buy them and do it in the privacy of your own home? Probably part of the fetish is to slash other people's balls. Thrill of possibly getting caught and stuff, but I, I'm kind of thinking about the cops on this one. Like like they get called and they go in and they find this guy. I don't even want to know what the picture like. How do you find him? Like, you find him with his knife in the big ball with a little ball in his hand? Like, <laughs> like what is the scene? I'm dying to know, actually, the scene that they walk into with this guy. Like, what it look? is he humping the ball while he slashes it? Does he have them set up on the wall like one of those games at the carnival where you throw darts at balloons? <laughs> Is he bouncing oh, on it, maybe? Uh, oh, 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 the channel just said he was tripping balls. Oh. We're going to get so many ball puns here. He is a oh, ball yeah. buster. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, we are. I'm frozen. That's good, because I was kind of worried about the uh, <laughs> reaction there was going to be to me bouncing up and down in my seat. <laughs> so it's probably just as well for everybody. Stop playing with other people's balls. <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, aren't you, aren't you guys a little curious what they walked in on? I'm a little curious what they're walked in on. <laughs> Don't lie. He lied. Well, he, you know, he likes big balls, so. And he cannot lie. <laughs> and apparently the, the, the clinic has the biggest balls of all. I just... 
I just have so many questions. Oh. <laughs> That's a hell of a fetish, though. I mean, that that That's is... Really, really obscure. And that... I, I charge you, RDA Army. No! I want you to find a website for this fetish. No! There, there's gotta be one. It's the fucking internet. Google that shit. Bring us the link. No! Yes! Yes! You know what? Last week they were Googling goddamn hippo vibrators, and I can't tell you how afraid I was that I was going to come home from NERE and find a package with a big old fucking rubber hippo dick in it. Thank God I didn't. <laughs> they can spend their time doing no, no, that. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Is, are you talking a dick that looks like a hippo? I don't care. I don't want either one. Or a replica of a hippo dick, because there are I sites I don't want that will... I don't want show up in my mailbox. I don't. Ma I My Mike does have your address. I know, I know he does, and I I live in fear of the day I get another package from Mike. I really do. <laughs> It'll be about this long. Oh my God! Somebody found it already. What? I have a balloon popping fetish. That's nice. not the same. That's video. Now she has video. Oh, I think we're gonna pass on that one. Oh no! Oh no! You gotta play it. You know you gotta play it. Do know we have a limited amount of time and you want to put your video on tonight, right? It's only two minutes long. All right, all right. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see this nonsense. <laughs> oh, he's better. Veteran, newbie, and learner poppers. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, he's not a veteran. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this? What? <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> Oh my god! I what? <laughs> what is happening to my world? <laughs> uh, what's going on? What the shit? <laughs> Shut the fuck! <laughs> <My eyes are> <laughs> 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 the goggles, they do nothing! <laughs> Does he have, like, a technique here? <laughs> oh my god, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's giving him some trouble there. Uh -oh. Oh. oh, he got it. He he got it. He he got. <laughs> he got it. We're uh... <coughs> oh, that's. I love that he didn't bother cleaning the room before he filmed this either. There's shit all over the floor. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. And you know what's what's absolutely horrible is uh, he's 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 making himself happy doing this. I know he's making me happy too. Not, I hope he's not making you happy the same way he's making himself no, happy. No, no, he's not. Not the same way. <laughs> because he was making himself happy. Yes. <sighs> oh my God, my eyes are tearing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. Tara. You're welcome. Good night, everybody. Okay. <laughs>